Let's have another cycle of the tiny machine. In this configuration, the instruction pointer is A. And if we go to main memory location A, we'll see that the code for the operator is 3. We've seen that before. Let's go to the instruction table and decode it. We can see that 3, once again, stands for jump if not zero. And it does indeed take an operand. Looking just after the operator in memory tells us that the operand is two. So let's write that in the trace. While we're here, we can see that what just happened immediately before this was a decrement loop index. And if we come over to the registers, we can see that that decrement loop index made the loop index zero. And correspondingly, the zero flag was set. If we unpack the flags, pop flag, overflow flag, zero flag, carry flag, we see we have zero, one, one, one. So the zero flag is set. Now, jump if not zero would jump if the zero flag was clear. As the zero flag is set, we do not jump. Correspondingly, we, as usual, add the size of the instruction to the instruction pointer, and the instruction pointer moves on to C. That's to say, we've reached the end of the loop, we're not jumping back to the beginning of the loop, we're carrying on with the code after the loop. That's the end of the cycle. Let's go round again.